Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in, Alessandro the Crypto here, I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode, today we're gonna analyze as usual the Bitcoin price, we also gonna have a look into Ethereum and at the end also into the DXY and Nasdaq because there we have some bearish signs my friends. So this is day one after the big Fed announcement, so nothing has changed at least for now. We have seen yesterday a little sell off since they have decided to raise up the interest rates or keep it the same to fight inflation. So currently we have no good bullish news over there and that's why I think that the market right now is reacting a bit to that but uh, the charts are still looking good and that's why I think that we could face uh, some nice uh, rallies in the not so distant future but as long as we are not breaking significant resistances and we are still in a downtrend in several time frames we should expect the Bitcoin price to at least go sideways or even lower before we eventually start another run up. And before we're gonna start in the four hour time frame for Bitcoin, first a big shout out to Delta Exchange. Thank you very much for sponsoring this video. If you want to trade all the cryptos that you want up to 100x leverage, then make sure to sign up with the link in the video description to Delta Exchange because with my link, you will get up to $30,000 in trading bonus. And here you cannot only trade all the cryptos that you want. You can of course also do robot trading and also you can get some passive income with the the trade farming feature here so while you are trading over on Delta exchange you get their own tokens completely for free you just have to trade here and like this you can start earning some Dito tokens and now let's dive straight into the four hour time frame for Bitcoin because yesterday we have seen another rejection at the top of the EMA ribbons and I closed all my longs both for Ethereum and also Bitcoin yesterday because uh, right before the Fed announcement I told you my friends that I'm going to put some stop loss in profits because no one can tell you what kind of news that there will be and that's why I locked in those profits and right now I am looking for new positions and I am still looking out for longs I don't expect that Bitcoin will have a, like a major crash or anything like that so I think that we most likely are going sideways or maybe even try to attack the resistances that are still in front of us first at 40k and then up here at around $43,000 before then eventually we roll over and continue the downtrend or if we go sideways we maybe are facing some sideways action between 30 to $40,000 before we definitely go to one direction. One is up towards 50k and new all time highs and the other one is down towards 20k my worst case scenario for Bitcoin right now. So in the four hour time frame we cooled off here a little bit and also it looks like that we are fighting again with the EMA ribbons. So I am waiting here on the sideline for a four hour close back above $36,700. Then I think that I will open up a new long position, especially if in the lower time frames, like the three hour, we're getting another buy signal because money flow is slightly increasing, it's still negative. But if we are able to go back into positive money flow and also bring the RSI back above the 50 level, we have very good chances for a nice run up. But uh, for now, we are potentially creating here a higher low compared to the lows that we had down here at around $34,000. And therefore, we could look out for a higher high as well. So we need to push above $38,000 and therefore come up to fight 40 k in order to have the chance here for a potential uptrend. Because in the lower time frames, like the 4-hour, we have now in theory a potential higher low compared to the lows down here. And with this higher high that we created yesterday, we have the chance here for a potential uptrend trend at least to test here the 100 moving average in the four hour at this previous important support which now is resistance and then if we're able to push higher the next potential resistance is here at around $43,000 and therefore let's head over into the daily time frame because here this buy signal is still intact and we still have a lot of room to the upside because we didn't even come up here to test the 50 level in the RSI even though we are still in this downtrend so I'm expecting still here a potential push to at least test the 20 daily moving average at 40k right at this previous support which now is new resistance and this is also perfectly matching with the median line of the Keltner's channels you can see that we're still closing daily candles below the bottom of the Keltner's channels but within the Bollinger Bands so as long as we have daily closes above 
$34,400. I still expect that a potential rally to test the median line at 40k or the top of the Kalkness channels here at around 43k is still in the cards. And if we're able to push above this new resistance, then the next one will be up here at around $43,000. This is also perfectly matching with the resistance trend line of this bigger falling wedge in which we're still in. So it is possible that Bitcoin is able here to recover back into this falling wedge and even break out here to the upside. Then I think that we can look again towards 50k and probably even higher because if we are strong enough to push above this important resistance at $43,000, then this could initiate a major rally and then we're going to see if we're going to create somewhere in the bigger picture a lower high or if we can continue the bull market because if we go over into the weekly time frame you can see that here very soon we are getting a buy signal and once we're getting a buy signal on the weekly scale this is usually the time when i do big trades when i buy more bitcoin on the spot market and of course also start to scale in bigger long positions because the weekly buy signals especially when we are so oversold are extremely powerful and then we should expect at least a run up to test here the ema ribbons and of course also the 20 weekly moving average currently at around fifty thousand dollars where we had also previously this important support trend line which now could be acting as a new resistance and here at around 50k we could potentially get also a lower high and also a bearish retracement level based on the Fibonacci retracement levels so if we do a Fibonacci retracement from the all-time high of $69,000 and let's assume that this $32,800 is our local bottom for now, this gives us a 0.618 Fibonacci retracement level. This is the bearish retracement level during a downtrend because also during a downtrend or bear market, we're getting rallies to the upside and usually they top out at a 0.618 or at a 0.5 and therefore we should target here the $47,000 area and maybe even have some wicks up to towards $52,000 to test also this previous support trend line which now could be acting as a new resistance so even if we get here a buy signal this could end up here in a rally up towards 52k but that doesn't mean that we are out of the woods and that we will continue to create new all-time highs here we still could get heavily rejected and therefore continue the downtrend even towards 20k where we have right now the 200 weekly moving average and this is usually the place where Bitcoin is bottoming out during a bear market so if we're really right now in a bear market then the target would be here at 20k at the 200 weekly moving average and we could get a potential lower high up here at around $52,000 if here we would get a local bottom and a nice rally. So I'm still expecting a potential bounce here at around $30,000. So even if we would be stuck here between uh, 30K and 40K, at the end, I'm expecting first an initial rally to the upside before we eventually crash down towards 20K if it's going to happen. And only once we are back above $52,000, then I think we, that we can look out for new all-time highs for Bitcoin and continue uh, the bull market. But until then, we should be very cautious and all kind of rallies that leads into lower highs should be then a good take profit time or even a short opportunity if you want to short also Bitcoin. I don't recommend to short Bitcoin. I never short any kind of cryptos but uh, if we would get here a lower high and also confirmation that at around 52k we would get rejected and roll over then of course this would be a perfect uh, short opportunity if the target would be then down here at around 20k. So for Bitcoin short term, I'm expecting a potential bounce. And I think that once we are pushing towards those resistances here at 40K and then 43K, we have the chance for an even bigger breakout, even up towards the 50K area. But until we are not breaking significant resistance levels and we are not starting an uptrend, at least in the four hour or daily time frame, we should still be cautious and wait for some signs that a potential reversal is starting. And wherever Bitcoin is going, of course, also Ethereum will follow. And also here we are still trapped at around $2,400. And if here we would create a potential local bottom at around $2,180, the bearish retracement level is up here at $3,570, right where we're having right now the death cross in the daily time frame. So if Bitcoin is starting to pump towards 50K, I'm expecting Ethereum to retest the $3,500 area. And then we're going to see what will happen with Bitcoin. Because right now I think that Bitcoin will lead the market and the altcoins will lag behind. And now my friends, let's go over to a very bearish uh, signal. 
and this one we can find over here in the DXY as expected we had yesterday that huge breakout above the 50 daily moving average and even a close above of it and you can see that right now the DXY continues to pump and since we are inverse correlated most of the times both in the crypto and stock market to the DXY I'm expecting that this could lead into a potential more corrective phase for the crypto and stock market as long as the DXY here is pushing towards the main resistance of around $98. So the DXY is back in an uptrend and is pushing hard and that of course could be a very dangerous sign for the crypto and stock market. So I'm very excited to see what will happen once the US market is opening again because for now Nasdaq is holding quite strong the support here at around $14,000 and we also got a buy signal. So in theory we should also start to pump here but since the DXY is also pumping this could be of course a dangerous sign that here we could face some more pushes to the downside especially down towards it's the 100 weekly moving average here for Nasdaq at around $13,000 if the DXY here continues to pump like crazy and of course as long as we are inverse correlated because sometimes we are pumping all at the same time we are not always inverse correlated but whenever the DXY is pumping like this we should be very very cautious in trading the stock market and of course the crypto market especially if you're buying or longing right now because whenever the DXY is looking bullish and is pushing hard that is usually a warning sign that we should be prepared for more corrective phases both in the crypto and stock market so I think that in the next coming hours and days we will probably go a bit sideways and we're gonna face some volatility but at the end as soon as things are calming down especially after the DXY is somewhere consolidating or getting rejected after that huge pump that we have seen yesterday and today I think that we could start a potential nice relief rally and a nice bounce both in the crypto and stock market. And with that said guys, we're gonna wrap it up for now. If you like the content, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel. I do daily TA videos. Check out all the links that you find in the video description, especially the link to Delta Exchange because with my link, you will get some extra benefits. And of course, you also support the channel. So thank you again very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one. Bye.